Yes YouTube, welcome back to another video, thanks for joining me. So in today's video we're going to be doing some maintenance and adding some plants and try and get this set up looking even better. Now this has only recently been planted and you can check out how we built this tank and how we set up in the playlist below as well in the description. But we'll be doing that as well as we'll be doing some things around the bioactivity of this setup. We need to add some more uh, cultures of isopods as well as we need to prepare for ball python which is coming tomorrow. So if you want to see all of that as well as get some updates around this room, I know a lot of you will want to know how the fish are getting along in the five belly toads tank, so that's all to come. As well as some unboxings of new equipment, but you get the gist. Let's crack on with today's video. Okay, so this is this enclosure. As those who follow the channel know, it's an XL Rectibreeze mesh enclosure, which we covered with acrylic sheets, and that's obviously lined it and waterproofed it. Expanding from background, as well as obviously all live plants, and birds just being a dingus. What are you doing, mate? But we've obviously, as you can see here, we've um, unboxed some plants in one of the last videos. We've got some monster there. Um, the baby tea is enough for this tank, that is for the Firebelly Toads, and I will be doing um, a big change on the Five Belly Toads tank, well, add in a lot more and just trying to get it as best looking as we possibly can. But as you can see, some of these plants are not looking so great. There's a little bit of creeping fig that's come back there, but that's sort of died off. Got a little bit of die off back here as well, if you can see that. So we're just going to do a general trim as well and tidy things up. We've got some new plants to add and birds dying for attention. What are you doing? Like, look at me, everybody. I'm the star of the show. What are you doing? Right, I better get started before he has an accident. So I know a lot of you will want to know how the fish are getting along with the five bellies, so I know it's a bit of a contentious issue online, but so far so good. So we added them in a couple of days ago, the fish are all still here, the five are still around, um, they seem to be thriving in this tank, they've got rid of the larvae for me which is great, and they seem to be displaying some breeding behaviour, so that's good. So the frogs have pretty much left them alone, but initially the first couple of days the frogs were all on land and they were a bit cautious of what was in the water, but ever since, as you can, well, you might be able to see now, they're all there. 
So I think this has been a success and they're here to stay. So the next challenge we got now is to use up some of the plants I showed you earlier and we're going to use those in this tank. We're not going to do it in today's video. I'm going to dedicate a video to this. I've got a lot more aquatic plants, some more hardscape and I want to just try and make this tank look as nice as possible and get it back to its former glory. Okay, so like a lot of you know that we've got a ball python on the way which is coming tomorrow which is really exciting news but I just want to make sure we got the setup all ready to go make sure that it hits the right temperatures etc etc so I've been down my local reptile shop and bought a load of stuff so we'll see what we bought in a sec as well as I've got a couple of packages to open which are probably merch shirts yes okay so Amazing. So, Panther Chameleon t-shirt. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put a link and a picture up so you can see it properly. So this is new available on my store. And again, the link's down in the description. Just got one more to open. Okay. So, and just the, yeah, just the John's Rainforest Room t-shirt. So, these are also available. Links in the description. Great Christmas presents. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> So, let's get on to the exciting bit. Well, I think it's exciting anyway. So, just got two hides. So these are all from my local reptile store and I'll leave links in the description for these items or similar items that were suitable. So, two hides, one for a hot end, one for a cold end. Uh, water dish. So these are things that are quite new to me because obviously we have bioactive setups so very often we won't have water dishes and things like that and hides, artificial things, all new to me. So, um, what else have we got? Thermometer, one each for hot and cool end. They didn't have any um, hydrometers um, but I've ordered some. I bought some food as well. So, I bought some Mario worms for Castro so try and vary your diet up even more. So we've got two boxes of those. Also, we've got some wax worms. Again, vary for diet, and these will also be for the fire bellies and probably Bert as well if he'll take them. Probably maybe a little bit too small. And then, obviously, most importantly, thermostat. So, what I need to do is set this up. Obviously, get the temporary setup cleaned and ready to go. We'll add all the thermometers. We'll add the thermostat heat mat going. Now, just um, before we do that, just to make you all aware that this setup we're setting up now is only temporary. I do have a four foot vivarium, which as you know, we've been following the channel, having issues, there's a trim that's broken when we first put it together. Sent another one, it's the wrong one, and I'm still waiting on the new one. So ideally I would have put him straight into his new enclosure, but I did buy a temporary setup just on the off occasion that that didn't work out. So obviously the right choice. So we're gonna do that now. It's more like a tub. It's not ideally something I keep something in, but it's only temporary until we get the big vivarium done. So, why don't you go ahead and do that now? I'll rejoin you in a little bit. Okay, so I think I need to maybe stop the video here for a sec and explain a few things because since I started making this video and go through the process of doing and filming this video, so many things have changed. So, let's get into it. So firstly, not just I've had a haircut and a beard trim and I no longer look homeless. Like, what was earlier in the video about? Look at that, who's this guy? What's that about? But anyway, so lockdown beard and hair's gone. Woohoo, feeling a lot better. So at the start of this video, I said that we're gonna be cleaning out the ball python enclosure in preparation for him coming tomorrow. So he was due to come on Saturday the 19th. Um, when I was making this video, I got an email which stated that the curry company that was delivering it had 
had an issue with their van, their gearbox had gone and it's probably not going to be delivered till Christmas So, or after Christmas. So first of all, I was gutted about that. It felt like, are we ever going to get this snake, especially the issues with the vivarium? But anyway, so that was that. So last night was Sunday, which I should add a video out. And because of all these things, this is the video that's going to be going out in place of the Sunday video. So apologies, this video is late. So it was about half 11 last night. We were just about to go to bed and there was a knock on the door. So thinking maybe just a Christmas delivery. No time of year is like plenty of that happening. And there was a guy sitting on my doorstep with a Tupperware box with a snake. So the snake is here. Woohoo! So really unexpected. Didn't know it was coming yesterday. So I had to race last night to get the set up all done. We'd already cleaned it as part of this video. I'm not going to put that in this video. I'm sure you'd prefer to see the snake. So the snake turned up last night in the Tupperware box. Looked really decent and packaged nicely. It'd been in a heated van, so that was always good. And as you can probably see, he was quite curious, he's quite active, he looked alert and great. So first impressions are really good quality and I can't see any mites, any signs of illness, which is always great. So I managed to set up the temporary setup now, which is like the tub setup with a heat mat only. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, we'll be set up with a four foot viv. But I did put them in there last night. Now that setup isn't in this room at the moment, just because I want to make sure there's a certain quarantine period for this animal, just on the off chance that it's got mites and for those of you who've ever had mites you know you don't want to be introducing that into a room like this especially with bioactive setups really difficult to get rid of and real big problems so we're gonna err on the side of caution and just make sure that the help the snake is healthy and doesn't pass on to anything in this room so i'm probably going to do that for maybe two three weeks and we'll keep them in that temporary tub in the other in my fiance sort of arty womany crafty room just on the off chance like i said so but so far, he's settled in really well. I put him in there last night and I did get some sort of clips. I did ideally want to film this as a specific video of unboxing um, and introducing to the snake, but I thought I'd add these clips at the end. So for those of you who are always watching the end of my videos, you get to see the snake before anybody else. So thanks for staying tuned. And also, if you did stay to this point in the video, let me know in the comment section below that you stayed until the end. So. Snake is it, um, added him into his enclosure yesterday, he had a good explore, had a hunt around, he went straight for water, seemed maybe a little bit dehydrated, he's probably been in a van for hours on end, so a really good sign he started to drink, started exploring the cool hide and the warm hide and just generally having a nose round. This morning he's still exploring, so hopefully he'll settle in now. I'm going to do a proper introduction video for this new member of this channel, so that won't be coming maybe till the following weekend or maybe a couple of days after that i just want to give him a, a, at least a week to settle in before i start handling him too much now i'm gonna to have to remove him from time to time just to change paper towels and that sort of thing but eventually when we get a bioactive set hopefully that will be the stop to that and then obviously we'll care for the snake the same as do any of the other enclosures now i got this snake from darby pied pythons i found them on morph market and i'll leave links to darby pied pythons down below as well Really nice guy, Afran is a great guy, he's been communicating with me about the snake and he's really interested in how the snake's getting along, which was a great sign from a breeder that, you know, they care about the animals, so it was a great start in where you're getting or sourcing your animal from. Now, again, I'll leave links down in the description if you want to go and check out what he's got available, definitely recommend buying from him. As I said, great guy, great, great, part, blah, 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 great quality snakes and I couldn't recommend him enough. Now I know he wants to find out how the snake's getting along in the future as well. And again, like I said, a great start, a great attitude from breeder, exactly where you want to, the sort of place you want to be buying from. Now also I'll leave a link down to his Instagram page as well. I'm sure he appreciate some love and you're going to check out where he's got available, some amazing quality snakes. And like I said, great in terms of communication, gets back to you when you need to. And like I said, I've never had any issues. So go and check them out. But I'm glad you had a chance today to see the snake finally. Now it wasn't the video I intended, and like I said, I'll do a, probably a formal introduction more to the snake in the next couple of videos. So if that's something interesting and you don't want to miss out on that, then make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button rather, and that notification bell. As always, for those regular viewers, you can do me a massive favor and show, give me that thumbs up, show YouTube if you're enjoying this sort of content. Leave me a comment as well. It just helps rank this video and helps YouTube promote it. So that gives me a massive favor as always. 
merch available. We've got the John's Rainforest Room t-shirts as well as the similar ones you've seen about Reptile keeping a fish keeping you seen earlier, doing the Panther Chameleon and I do have some nice new ball python merch coming up as well which you'll see in the upcoming videos. So I think that's enough of me waffling on for today and endless shameless plugs. I hope you enjoyed and like this new member to this room. It brings me back to exactly where I started in this hobby. Basketball pythons, the first reptile I ever owned, and I'm really, really excited about it. I know some of you might think, well, it's just a ball python, but to me, it's more than that. So, if you want to see how it's getting along in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.